Hemos recibido correspondencia de toda la isla eh, para que nosotros se lo preguntemos a los participantes este año en el Festival Casal. Una de esas personas es el señor Aristides a, Arroyo de Arecibo, que nos hace esta pregunta para que se la hiciéramos a, a la señora Troyanos. Tatiana, what is the role that has given you more satisfaction on the operatic stage in terms of acting? You know, that's a question that I know you've been asked many times, and it's a question I've also been asked. And I always say, well, it's the role that I'm doing at the moment, you know, but I don't really think that's true now. I think I can say it's one role, and I would say probably it's Octavian in the Rosen Cavalier, because it gives me a chance to to act certainly and to be funny and and to sing but you know a lot of my friends come and they say but Tatiana you know we have to wait until the third act until you really sing a beautiful phrase you know I really would not count that as one of your 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 most glorious singing right. you know which I can't say it is and when I talk to people like Krista Ludwig yeah. she says oh, Tatiana you know singing Octavian it's for me nothing ah. you know it's, <laughs> and I look at her and I think my goodness you know it's such a long part and it's a demanding role but it's more acting really you know I mean one has to get over that orchestra yeah. but you can kind of ride with that orchestra you know it can just carry you like a wave you yeah. know so I I have I love doing the part, but I think vocally satisfying, it's vocally satisfying when we get to the trio and to the duet and those last beautiful lines of Strauss at the end of the opera. So you have to wait a very long time, but still, I think that's the part that I'm most identified with at this point. You that's know? great. It must be quite a challenge for you also to play because Octavian is a trouser role. Yes. He's, he's a young boy in yes. love with this yes, older tiring. woman. I don't know it's how you very do it. Tiring. It's exhausting. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and you, you really have to get very, uh, not only exuberant, but quite intimate. And quite intense. Very intense. It's exhausting. But it is certainly one of the most beautiful, I mean, the duet. Uh, at the opening of the opera for me is just mm -hmm. so beautiful and oh, so yeah. tender oh, yeah. as is the final trio oh, absolutely. it has to be yeah. when they finally depart and yeah. decide that it's for yeah. the better that you exactly that yeah. you take up with a younger woman <laughs> But I also think that you have to be a good listener, believe it or not, yeah, really, because absolutely. you're so often on the stage when the marshalin is singing, you know, and you have to really comprehend what she's trying to say. Octavian doesn't, because he's too young. He wants what he wants at that moment. He's not interested in her thoughts about it all ending and her getting up right. in the middle of the night and not being able to sleep and all of the things that you have to do. He wants what he wants at that point. And so, um, it's, it's a marvelous role. I do love it. How about Carmen? How about Carmen? Carmen I've done in one, two, three languages now. Three languages. English, German, and French. Let's that, not forget the original <laughs> that language. That must have been difficult. And it was difficult at one performance because I, I started singing French instead of German, as I recall, in, in yeah, Hofburg. That can happen, and yes. As you know, that can happen. How about uh, other languages, uh, I mean, besides Italian, French, German, English, Latin, that uh, we all have to sing in? Well, have you ever sung in Russian? Certainly. You must yes, have. I have sung right. Boris in Russian. Have, right. have you have you sung in Russian? Well, I'm going to be singing in Russian. The next recital program I'm doing is at Ravinia, and James Ryan is playing, and I'm singing four Rachmaninoff songs. Oh, beautiful. Then I'm singing Rossini, Regatta Veneziana in Veneto. In Veneto, the original That's Veneto. Right, in the dialect, oh, the Venetian dialect. And then I'm singing uh, the Ravel, five popular songs, not in French, but in Greek. So oh. if, that, you know if Greek? that doesn't please someone, yes. then I think I'm in the wrong profession. <laughs> Can you speak Greek? A few words. Yes. I really cannot speak fluently. Uh, the German. Uh, How about Hungarian? Have you ever had to sing in yes, Hungarian? Yes, I sang only one piece in Hungarian, which was Bluebeard Castle by yes, Bartok. Yes, I know the piece. With Schulte yes. conducting. Oh, my and goodness. And I said well, to George, how does this go? And he was trying to remember because it's been years since he has spoken in Hungarian. And so we all had a very good time working this out. And then I did it with Pierre Boulez, who really wasn't too terribly interested in, in, in how my pronunciation was at that point. But, but uh, I'm I, sure he knew since you had done it with, uh, with, with Schulte, Schulte that it, it, it was fine. perfect. <laughs> Exactly. Right. Exactly. Right. But it's a great challenge, you know, to, to sing in other languages and try and get the right colors. And Tatiana, of all the maestri or stage <laughs> directors that you have worked with, yeah. who has uh, touched you the most, who has influenced you the most? Well, I've worked 
the best, I think, the most intensely, the most rewarding with Jean-Pierre Pernel and James Levine. I think that chemistry... It's a great has, combination, yes, isn't it? Has, has, has really brought out the best that I can offer, you know, and, and I'm very thrilled that we have such a wonderful relationship. Tatiana, thank you so much for being with us. Uh, I think it's time to go back to your recital. Okay. Señoras y señores, volvemos a los estudios para continuar con el concierto de Tatiana Troyanos.